Hello everybody! Welcome back to more Color Variety Plays Banjo-Kazooie. Last time we beat Clinker's Cavern, one of the more annoying worlds in the game, and pretty much the, every other world is going to be better, with one exception. And we're starting today with the next world, Bubble Gloop Swamp. We already opened it up at the end of last video, so let's just delve deeper on into Grunty's Lair, shall we? Anyhow. Now we can go up here, and he actually could have opened this note door after Treasure Trove Cove, because we got enough notes. But, we didn't have to break the note door until after Clanker's Cabin. Anyhow, let's see what Grunty has in store for us. Grunty has in store for us a giant moss statue of herself. That was rude. Also, there's a jiki inside that. I wonder how we can get there. This? <laughs> this guy looks friendly. Can I hit him with eggs? No. I don't think he works like Snacker does. Oh well. Brentilda's behind here. My lazy sister often sleeps in a pigsty, the dirty hag. The only thing she's ever won was the biggest butt competition at the witch school. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, polishing her crystal ball. I mean, that one's less nasty than the other two you told me. Anyhow, if we go that way, it leads to another note door that we could break now, but this way leads to Bubble Gloop Swamp. You can tell by the music change. And the log has an angry face on it. We got a transparent pair of boots. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to Burns. Okay. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Yeah, Kazooie would love that. And then Brent is in the other one. My fat old sister's favorite sport is broomstick racing. I mean, okay, she's a witch. Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. Okay, I'm noticing a trend. My sister's fat. Did you know that? You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. Oh, come on, Rareware. There are three different things that can be. I've never encountered blowing balloons up with her butt before. The other two are doing a strip tease, which how did that get into a kid's game? And eating a bucket of beans. Yeah, Rareware loves their crude humor. Oh hey, it's a gold feather. This is the water. Keep your smelly feet out! Yeah, so you're encountering the gimmick of Bubble Goop Swamp. There's water that's shallow, but touching it will hurt you. Anyhow, let's enter Bubble Gloop Swamp. Bubble to Gloop Swamp. <laughs> Keep your eyes open for your new move, Beak Face! It's pretty easy to find, it's right here in the beginning. Welcome to Bubble Gloop Swamp! It's a swamp of great music, and we've got these flippets here. They're easy to kill. And Bottles is literally right next to the entrance. These are the wading boots! Chicken Legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, Chicken, uh, Kazoo, let's go grab a pair. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Great! Now you know all the Swamp's new moves! Alright, so we learned that move, and as counterintuitive as it's going to sound, we are immediately going to leave the world. And here's why. Bottles you can get at literally the very beginning, and there's one secret in Grunty's Lair that will require you to get the waiting step boots in order to reach. You saw the transparent pair in that uh, trunk that we found. We gotta use those to get to a new area. And we need to get to that area before we beat Bubble Gloop Swamp, otherwise we're gonna have to double back into Bubble Gloop Swamp for a second time. And if I have to double back to Bubble Gloop Swamp for a second time, I might as well do it when I barely did anything. 
Donald's like, wow, you suck. You got zero new nuts. Unfortunately, leaving the world creates these dragonflies in the lobby. That's a little annoying. Just trust me. Get out of here. Because you see that trunk back there? That's filled with piranha water, and there's a super surprise at the end of it. But you need the waiting step boots. Well, er, you're supposed to need the waiting step boots. On my first playthrough, uh, I reached this room before I ever found the Bubble Gloop Swamp entrance opener. Because I wasn't very explorative. I didn't explore the Clanker's Cavern Lobby any more than I had to. So I came across this hut that was empty, so I'm like, I gotta go for the, the log! And I took damage, and I was able to time my jumps to such that I was able to get to the end without dying. But you're supposed to use the waiting step boots. So with the boots, we can enter the piranha water no problem. See, this pair actually lasts for longer than most pairs. I can barely see. And look where that takes us. Grunty has a frozen swamp area in her lair. And yeah, this is the entrance opener for the next world. But we've got plenty of jiggy, so let's open it now. This opens up Freezeezy Peak, which is World 5. We will not be going to Freezeezy Peak in this video. The real reason why I left Bubble Gloop Swamp to go all the way here was not to open Freezeezy Peak, but rather to go up here. There's an ice boulder. I'm still here, I watch you play, but I can't think of much to say. Then silence is golden. There's this boulder here, you gotta crush it. And there's a hidden thing back here. It's an invulnerability feather, but it is too small of a passageway for us to go through. However, if we leave Bubble Gloop Swamp with something, we can enter that passageway. The problem is if we leave Bubble Gloop Swamp with that something, we can't break the ice boulder. So you either need to complete Bubble Gloop Swamp, use the waiting step with to get here, open Freeze Easy Peak, go back to and crush the ice boulder, go back to Bubble Gloop Swamp, grab the fame, and then come back here, or you can just do it at, immediately after learning the waiting step boots. I prefer that way. Yeah, you'll notice that like you can kind of sort of walk on the walls in here. Uh, when I went through here without the waiting step boots, oh my gosh, it is like pitch black, I can barely see in this time. Yeah, my first playthrough, what I would do is I would just hop on the walls and then do the double jump hover. Anyhow, let's go to Bubble Gloop Swamp for realsies this time. So right off the bat, we've got this golden crocodile statue. Let's feed it the egg. Yummy, croc just like that. We want yummy egg too. So that's one of the things we have to do on this level is feed all the crocodile statues. In order. So I've always wondered, so Bubble Gloop Swamp, I feel like it's supposed to be an outdoor level, but because it's a black ceiling, it doesn't feel very outdoorsy. It feels like we're in a giant building. Here we go! And yeah, there's a Mumbo token in the water. We could damage tank to get it, we could put on the waiting step boots. I'm just gonna grab it later. Take that, flip it. So we are now in the center of the swamp. There's a whole lot of places to explore. We're gonna start by exploring the upper area here. And yeah, there was a switch back there. I'm not gonna break it open just yet, though. Here's the second crocodile. Thankfully, there's no time limit on feeding the crocodile statues. That's a relief. Hey. 
Always be picking up mumbo tokens if you can. Like I said, mumbo spells get more expensive in each new world. So you're gonna need a lot by the end. You've already got two Jinjos. A lot of people really like the first Banjo's worlds because they're very compact. They cram a lot in a small area, and you can beat the worlds pretty quickly. The second game makes the worlds a lot bigger and longer. I like the second game's method of doing that better, but I still love the worlds in the first game. Alright, so that creates a Jiggy at the end of that. The reason I didn't push the switch until now is because there's a time limit to grab the Jiggy before it explodes, and then you have to press the switch again. And I wanted to grab all the stuff on the way, which takes extra time. Also, you can tell on shot to increase your speed and get to the end faster. However, it's also harder to control, so one, once we get to this part, I, and everything's narrow and windy, I just let do that. And we got plenty of time to spare. Woohoo! That's our first Jiggy. Alrighty. So that's where we came from. Uh, we can jump on this lily pad here and go over this way. Err, an ugly, hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Mini boss time, we gotta beat the Flippet Tribe. So you can just rat a tat rat them all. But you have to do that a couple times. You can also use Wonder Wing and Vulnerability to do your job really easily. You're too tough for us, Flibbits! Take our gold! Yeah, Wonder Wing and Vulnerability just does that job real easy. But you can beat them without it. So if you run out of gold feathers, don't be afraid. Alright, lots of different ways we can go. I'm gonna go this way, because this is where the new Crocus statue appeared. Welcome to the Shack Stack. There's all this stuff in the water, but there are no waiting step boots around, so how do we grab it? We don't just tank the damage, now we'll get something later on in the world to help us get those. In the meantime, we can just smash some stacks. Smash this one, and it's the witch switch. What does this do? It breaks the moss grunty statue's hat. I wonder what that'll do. Hey, Bumbo, come over here. Feed you. And we can climb to the top shack, and inside this one is a tree. <laughs> Bandra, it's kind of weird that we've got all these jig golden jigsaw pieces hidden in a swamp. Don't worry, Kazooie. We shouldn't worry about that. <laughs> Let's just count our blessings. Alright. New crocodile statue appeared over here by the giant crocodile. It's just a giant crocodile. Like, is this supposed to be a statue of a giant crocodile or an actual giant crocodile? I'm a little confused. I think it's supposed to be a statue. I hope it's supposed to be a statue, otherwise that poor crocodile. Take that. Alright. Ooh, gold feathers over there. Yeah, I kind of want that. Cool, that tops off our gold feathers. Now remember, you can hold the A button during the double jump to hover for a longer period of time. Thanks, game, for letting me jump off that. Oof. Brutal. And again, we could just grab the notes by damage boosting, but trust me, there's an easier way later on. Jinjo is ours. I'm kind of just diving all over the place in the swamp, not really sticking to one area. That's because I'm basically following the crocuses, so I don't have to backtrack very much later on, or I don't forget about them. 
Oh, there is a pair of boots on top of the crocodile. Oh, I could have used those. Nope. Now let's go over here to the giant turtle. This one is actually an honest to goodness living turtle. My feet are so numb and cold. Let me help you with that. Oh, that's a bit better. We fixed this guy's numb feet by literally just smashing his feet. This is how massages work. Uh, for the Jinjo, I will just damage boost. Jinjo! How come the Jinjo wasn't getting eaten alive by the crows? That one got just timed pretty well. There we go, that was the last one. Cool! Now we can actually do this, the rest of the swamp in a hopefully straightforward way. Wait, is that boots up there? Oh, I didn't have the damage boost from the Mmm, tank touch warm at last. Perhaps you like this. If you need it to be warm, just stick your feet in your shell to begin with, bro. Well, oh, thanks for the jiggy. Alright, and now we can actually literally go get eaten by Tank Top and go inside. Mm-hmm. <laughs>